Part of me feels like I should linger here a little longer. Alright, basically, uh, you know, just hold the line, gather up some more resources, because there's plenty here. This is actually a very nice little spot. This is a ridiculous spot. They they really wanted to make sure you didn't run out of resources. Can I attack ground units? These high tempo are of the attack. All right. But yeah, they really wanted to make sure you didn't run out of resources. So I'm more than happy to. Um, I know, oblige. Could get a lot of Archons. Ah, I could get a few. Alright, made up. Hmm, this has been rather gnawed on, hasn't it? Hmm. This one's got a shot now. Finish this guy off. <sighs> Damn you. Attack. Austin Archon. Congo line. Make me glad this guy can just walk through stuff. Destroy it. Move down. How are so many units getting left behind? No need to poke the uh, nests. We didn't want to fight all these mooks. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Most of the Archons are gone. Yeah. 
this is there's a lot of mooks here for not to fling myself right into them Maybe my life would be easier if I did take out one of the bases here. I'm just not sure if the units are spawned from the bases, just if the bases are gone, it's easier, or if the units are spawned via, uh, you know, command. If spawned via command, then there's nothing I can do. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen so soon. And then we've seen this cutscene before. I was worried it broke there again. Okay, it seems they are spawned in. Hopefully that was enough to earth the Templar. Hmm. Oh yeah, I lost photon cannon already, yeah. The bottom left, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's gone. Fuck, like maybe I should have more than one forge, but... Eh. Oh yeah, why did I get so many observers? Well, we'll find out soon enough if these uh, waves are spawned or uh, solely spawned or, you know, what. Far, there has to be an attack wave from here, but that means nothing because there has to be an attack wave from here. Actually, no, there was. It started off with one. Okay, no, no. They're respawned. Uh, they're brought in by command. I kind of wish this was a fleet of stalkers I had rather than dragoons. Why didn't he just leave him over here and for him to find his way out? And not, you know, have them, you know, after performing the surgery on him, have him with them. Like they did it, just like, yeah, the fucker owes me ten bucks. Let him squirm for a bit. Not a squirm has appeared down here. Size storm doesn't harm buildings, which is sad. Rather disappointing to me. Uh, I haven't gotten hit with guardians on this side in a while. Um, I imagine I'm doing attack. There we go.
wish I had f some flying units or something. Just, it, it will make it easier getting around. I just grabbed more zealots. Because unlike the rest of them, zealots aren't chunky monkeys. And zealots are relatively effective, just not against lurkers. Charging and just like I don't know which way to go. Funny to watch. I could set probes up since they aren't in the army command. I could have probes set up to alert me to incoming attacks. This will give me some forward. Yeah, wouldn't really want to attack there. Forward only work. Forewarning only works if I actually watch. That was my attention was elsewhere. Just mainly gasping in horror at the base up there. Again, you'd want flyers to hit there. Get a couple of carriers, you're sorted. Seriously? There we go. I'm recording, right? Okay, yes, I am recording. You can you can see the video though it's currently paused. I am recording. You can hear the music. You can hear me. And you can see this. Yeah, everything's good. I think I was repeating myself a lot. But yes, everything's good. Units in this aren't um, immune. Huh, good to know. Uh, there was another stun like that previously, that where the units were. May as well aid the defenses as much as I can. Keeps drifting over. But yeah, I could have actually taken this down via stealth as well if I went this way. This one, probably the only one you couldn't stealth down. Uh, unless you're somehow made your way to here.
Turos, all the remaining Zerg hives are coming in for one last strike. Antaro Adun. I query. There's the huge scuffles between the town. Actually, I was just thinking. For basically, I thought they might have left before the whole thing with Adun. You know, guess they didn't. Fair enough. The, the, like my original idea had been like they left, like the squabbles between the the two factions had. Let me check. Uh, they don't have it here. I, maybe that was on a previous mission. I can't remember. It's all a blur. But yeah, basically, I just for whatever one reason or another thought that they had. Um, Left before the whole Dune thing and whatnot? Apparently not. Okay, they say all the remaining hives, but that includes any hives that have actually fallen. Huh, we the Guardians. Don't really have to hold out for much longer. Mm, that's just a normal attack, which is kind of jarring given that it's like they're going for one last push. Here comes a no uh, there's the one last push, and then a normal attack wave. Kind of an odd one. Terrors, you would have detected the energy bursts. They would have been here already. Not necessarily. A fate preserver. Plasma energy is increasing. Well met, my brothers. Yep. <laughs> now that's gonna go start to probe tell the ream. Yeah, this is the, um... Main page. I was not expecting to get tossed onto this. Uh, of course. Alright, let's open next one. The Awakening. So, just this is loading up. Proberim. For those who are not getting that, there was, uh, you know the people left behind on Ire. Not everyone got off. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, not everyone got off Ire when the uh, pro protests were fleeing. The, those that left behind came under control of an evil Archon and were called... Uh, they they formed the Taldorim. But along comes StarCraft 2, and the Taldorim are, well, in Wings of Liberty, religious fanatics protecting Protoss artifacts. Then come along, Heart of the Swarm, the Taldorim were actually, you know, mooks under control of Duran. Though, for whatever reason, they ne refused to ever call him Duran. But, the Stukov even referred to him as such.
I can... I get, I know. The, on some level, it feels like it feels weird there wasn't any nods to his brood war in, in, incarnation. Like Carrigan knew him as Duran, and as did Stukov. But anyway, um, what was they saying? Um, I can't be honest, I've just blanked. I've been having memory troubles as of late. Uh, Shadow Liberty 5, The Awakening. Out of feeding the minion from the orbital platform but above Castadar, Vi Victor and Vanessa were attacked by overwhelming amounts of Zerg forces. The Zerg destroyed Rebel base. Now Victor finds himself somewhere that doesn't look familiar. Heroic units have abilities. Use them wisely to help you succeed. I'm going to stop for a second and check what I was saying because it's doing me head in.